Hi guys, this is the Fire Apple 393. If you haven't subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. I need those subscribers, please. I want to become popular. Share this video with a friend if they like Beyblade. And our like goal will be 20. Not a lot, but we're probably, hopefully, hopefully going to hit it. Now we do have a uh, Wizard Fafnir unboxing review or not unboxing but review video coming soon i'm just still working on it um with all the iMovie stuff and whatever um <coughs> so today we're looking at the new uh beyblades for gt so let's okay this is my first time doing it on this so uh the new gt base so let's get on with it Next, we have the Random Layer Volume 2 for GT. We have Poison Hydra. If you probably don't know, because no one knows apart from my friends that actually watch my videos. I love Hydras. And they finally made a Hydra Beyblade, which I am hyped for. Probably not going to get it, because they sell, like, these on eBay for, like, how much money? Anyway, that's not a problem. They're just trying to make money. I'd probably do the same thing. So we have obviously the poison layer base here, and the uh, uh, Gatinko chip. It just comes with um sen, sen, zen, zen, sen, whatever, sen and zen, whatever. I forgot zen. It's zen. Okay. Um, this also comes with Bushin. Well, I'm able to. Okay, I'm sorry. Okay, it's my first time using this. Uh, with the, the red Beyblade here, that is Bushin Hydra. So, even if you don't get the Bo uh, Hydra Beyblade, you can still get the other one. But it comes with Bushin. Hopefully, this has good... I've seen the teeth. They're pretty good. They're like these chunky blocks on it. Well, not chunky, but you know what I mean. And then we've got Rock Valkyrie uh, with the set... Sen weight, and then we've got a uh, judgment, not judgment, ace joker with the ten weight. So this is coming out. Um, I think it's August or this month. Um, I'm not sure. I'm just taking a guess. So that was poison hydra, and uh, volume two. And then here's a closer look because before that was a terrible look. So we'll pause the video to see the Beyblades because I'm still going to go on with the video. Uh, Lord Spriggan. We're getting a, a GT Spriggan. Probably not going to be owned by Shu, sadly. Because, um, oh yeah, um, Tokyo TV, if that's what the creators of the anime are called, I don't care. But please, make Shu own this Beyblade. The only original character we've seen in GT is Volt. They replace Luanor, or they replace Louis for Loden, who's a like a attack type version of um, Hey Geno. And they replace Free. Now, if you know me, Fafnir is one of my top favorite bays. And they go ahead changing it to this stupid owner that looks like a pop star and thinks all the Beyblade is about winning. Thinks Beyblade's about winning. So, make me happy and give this to Shoe. That's my request. So, that was Lord Spriggan. So... Next, we have the Random Booster Volume 16. The prize bay is um, Flare Dragon. Uh, we're getting a new layer base. It's a balance. Don't think we'll be seeing this in the anime. Anime. But, um, yeah. Okay, so we have Flare Dragon with the Sen weight. And a round disc, which is a new disc. And the Planet Driver. Um, from seen from videos, planet's not the best, 
But um, I know why they chose Planet because if you see in the uh, layer base, you can see these lines with those little balls. Now those are basically Zootron, Zeus, whatever, how you want to call it, gimmick. So why did they do that when they could just put that on a Zeus Beyblade? I mean, what's the point of making another dragon when you could make a Zeus? Anyway, so we are we uh, with Sen around and planet, and then we have Gaia Dragoon. Now, usually, well, they all are. All Gen Bays are terrible. They suck. They burst a lot. And there's just really nothing special. But this one, if you see in the middle, there is metal, and it looks like there is a gimmick to the Beyblade. So, with this, hopefully this has good teeth. This also has the around driver, and it's got Hunter Dash. Hunter, Killer Death Scyther. Well, K1 Killer Death Scyther. But it's Prime, so it's harder to burst. Um, Hunter's not the best, but hopefully this Dragoon... Is really good. Oh, this spins clockwise. Oh, why does it spin clockwise? Dragoon's a left spin. Wow. Anyway, I just realized that. Now we have Revive Phoenix, 8 dash, wall, or media, but to me it looks like wall, and Excel dash. Stop giving us fusions and Excel dashes, please. Especially on Revive Phoenix. We only got, we already got a Fusion Dash on uh, Revive Phoenix. And, um, well, anyway, we get 8 Dash came on uh, Gas Fafnir. And Wall, which is the second wall we've got so far. If it is, is Wall, it looks like it to me. Or Medial. And we've got plenty of Medials out there. So, um, overall, I really like this color on this Revive Phoenix. Looks really nice with the yellow and the yellow. What? No, the yellow and the red, not the yellow and the yellow. Um, we've got some orange on there too. Nice silver to it. And that was Revive Phoenix. Next, we have the Cool Bay Blades. We have another mag uh, a Magenta Crash Ragnarok 7 Bump Fusion Dash. We got another Fusion. Fusion's pretty decent. Don't think. <laughs> And, um, nice color to it. I actually really like this color. And hopefully the teeth on this is... Oh, wait, no, it gave it a dash driver. So, um, if you know... Of course, some of you don't because... Oh, some people don't know what it is. Anyway, um, Ragnarok, uh, Crash Ragnarok has terrible teeth. It will burst really easily. But it's not as bad as... Uh, bad as um dragoon storm check that video in my channel if you want to see that video seriously it's so bad i hand spun my geist fafnir and since dragoon is a right left spin beyblade it can't spin uh geist fafnir can't spin still from it and it still burst now that is very bad <laughs> a very bad beyblade that hasbro made but then all of that old gen bays are terrible. Anyway, moving on, we have a nice black and blue Hazard Kobeus Zero, double zero, sorry, but the heaviest disc in the game right now. Hit Vanguard. No, God, Vanguard came on Diaboros. And um, Hit came on uh, Nemesis or Noctimus. And God, we got that from Genius. So, we're getting another defense type. So, well, a defense type combo. So, um, yeah, nice colors to the Cabeus. Next, we have my favorite, one of my favorite Beyblades, Geist Fafnir Ratchet Gyro. So, this is, sorry, uh, another Salmon type Fafnir. The colors on this look so good. It looks 100% better. Like, I'd rather have this than Wizard Fafnir. Even though this is so much better than Wizard Fafnir. 
but the colors just blend in so well with 